Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday and our last day of Christmas vacation for the whole family. And today, I plan to ride my horse. There's one thing that you guys don't know about Penny and me in our entire relationship. So the secret is that before I made Penny bitless, Penny ran. Penny gated always of her own accord. She would run all the time. She would gate all the way home. If I took her out on the road and I turned her around, poof, she would gate every single time I have gated my horse has been because Penny has chosen to, to gate. But then the moment I made Penny bitless, she stopped gating, she stopped running, she stopped dragging me home. Penny has dragged me home more times than I can count. And it was never scary for me because Penny is not a fast horse. She's not a, uh, everything Penny does, I can handle. If she bucks, it's so small and minor. And I was able to manage every time she ran me home. So I liked it. And in fact, I liked her dragging me home because we gated and her gait is the most beautiful gait I've ever ridden. Even when I ride the Pasofino horses that tend to be sometimes a bit trotty has never been the same as gating Penny. Penny's gait is to die for. It's incredible, it's beautiful, and she does it so well, so naturally. She does not lean towards trotting. She does not lean towards cantering. She is a gator, and that is what made me fall in love with her. Is, is that now I'm ready to gate Penny and I'm gonna have to learn how to ask her and that's what today is all about so I just got home and Gabby claims that Gat Sophie has grown again she's just she's just growing constantly okay stand side by side let's do the test she's still shorter but she's getting there turn around back to back back to back wow it's like two one inch. Oh. About an inch and a half. Wow, Sophie. She's like five foot four and a half. You're probably five foot four. And a half. She she is already five foot four. Remember when we You're five foot four and a half. That's bad news when you ride a pony. Okay. It's fine, pony squishing. Right, we are just getting our dragon fed. I had to go out and get crickets today. He's super hungry. <laughs> She's out there hunting. Lots of crickets. Go find them. Oh, oh, she missed it. Did you guys see that? You gotta move, Trixie. You gotta move, love. Move. She's like, how dare you criticize my hunting? This is the real world, Trixie. Everybody criticizes everyone. There she goes. She got it. He just bought new crickets and they need to be rehydrated because when they're sitting in the box for so long, look at how many of them are dead, actually. That's crazy. I had the weirdest feeling that there are a lot of dead ones this time. Here, you finish putting the potatoes. Well, that's enough potatoes. Oh, but so, this was from a giant one. So, anyways, we just bought new crickets and put them in our, cleaned out our habitat and got them all ready. Only crazy people store crickets to be honest crazier people breed crickets and i want to breed crickets anyway we're getting ready to eat i'm gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go down and i'm gonna ride my pony gabby does you not have a pony? When did you I have my legally horse sane. gabby's legally sane it's just chaotic right here right now so many things i've been learning and figuring out today like it's been such a crazy time i don't have time to explain it all to you guys but i will so one thing that's really cool is that sophie started when we first got trixie you guys saw that i don't know if i showed you guys but we uh trained her to eat out of sophie's hand and i'm so glad we did because now we can still feed her out of like it's been a while she did it the other day and she actually she's like i'm full of that sophie give me some blueberries yeah i'm gonna go hunt blueberries So I got these jump boots for Penny when she had the tiny, tiny ligament issue because I got scared. And that's what happens when people get scared. They buy things that, that they think will help ease their mind. But we all know that healing um, ligament injury naturally and strengthening it naturally is always far superior than 
offering you support. Supporting it constantly leaves you more open to, to injuries later on whenever you choose not to use the support. Much better to, to strengthen, strengthen instead of support. But I do think that boots like that, support boots, have a place in the world. Anyway, we're down in the barn, my girl. Trying to see if I have something in my pocket, Penny Pickle? I know I do. I always have stuff in my pocket. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that was the cutest thing. Let's see if it will work. Okay, come on. Try, get, get Willow walking and do it. I know, Willis. You're such a good pony. Take it. Take it. Good job. No. Molly. Take it. No, Molly. <laughs> She's like, pile on. Get it. This. Over here. Get this. Get this pile on. Molly. Molly, it's up with the pile on. on. Molly. Alright, so every time kids come to the barn, crazy stuff happens. So something that frustrates me about when Sam does chores, which I appreciate and I try not to ever complain, is that it's always a mess when I come down because he doesn't do the same kind of job that I do, which is fine. Which is fine, except for that when I come down sometimes I feel like I have to really clean up everything before I can do the things I want. And then, and then, I never have like the time that I want to do the things that I want. So I'm just gonna try. So a lot of times when you guys see me doing the things I want in a big messy space, it goes against my heart, you guys. Like, it's hard for me, but it's also hard for him to do the kind of job that I would want him to do. So just gotta work together. It's winter, it's cold. Our barn is cleaner in the, in the summer. Our house is cleaner in the winter. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's the way it has to work, you guys. <laughs> What are you doing? See, this is how crazy things happen. Okay, Mom, look. Kids with photo. dogs Quick. and ponies. Quick! Oh, she's not look, we got three dogs. <laughs> three dogs and a pony. Yeah. If Willow was white, it would have been so much better. <laughs> okay, so Molly knows a new trick. Good job. What? <laughs> yeah! Good girl, Gracie! Yeah, here, give Gracie treats because that deserves a treat. Do it again. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, so Gracie might be a little bit more bomb proof than I ever thought she could be. Like, yeah. What's it like? Woo! <laughs> Our ponies are so good. Our ponies are so good. things that I always have to clarify in videos. Um, the other day, Gabby said that Chino tries to bite her in the stall. It's not like what you guys think. He doesn't even try and bite. He pins his ears and acts like, like he has, like, he pins his ears. Not when she's saddling him, not when she's doing anything to him. I walk up to him and he's like, it happened before with us when Chino was the lead, her lead horse in a field of mares. He gets like, an attitude like he's the boss and it, and he gets supplements for Fair. for 
ulcers. Horses can get ulcers just like that. So we keep up on him. He gets ulcer supplement and a preventative and it's a really amazing stuff that works amazing. And we know that it's not that. And I always am looking out for uh, any signs of ulcers and stuff. Here's your horse. Your horse is He's also been dewormed recently, so I know that we made it seem like he probably has ulcers because he's pinning these ears when we put a saddle on. It has nothing like that at all. She just like, if he's in a stall and she walks near him, he pinned his ears a few times. Not like in the arena though. Yeah, but not in the arena, not under saddle, not with the saddle, nothing like that. It's just like a few seconds and she has to be like, no, I'm the boss of you. And he's like, ugh. Darn it, and it's hard to explain. I guess if you haven't experienced it, but we have experienced it before with Chino um, when he was the lead horse. And I yeah. think that sometimes lead horses do sometimes have attitude issues. And it's hard for them to just shut it off when they go in the, in the, in the barn. But I don't know, maybe not everybody will agree, but you have to know your horse. And you have to know what you're giving them. And, And so I wanted to tell you guys that. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that my horse is so good. <laughs> I just love her. I also wanted to tell you guys that to clarify about, clarify about the, the uh, rope halter. The rope halter I ride in has four knots and it evenly distributes pressure differently. A regular rope halter, like the one that Sophie was riding in, puts pressure all the way across the whole nose. So. And that was my mistake. I didn't realize there was a difference in rope halters. So the rope halter I ride in is definitely different than a regular rope halter. I always wondered why some people thought they were harsh and then other people are like, no, they're not harsh. It's because there's two different kinds of rope halters, maybe more, but those are the two kinds that I know about now. Plus horses are animals that have opinions and moods just like we do. Just like today, Penny's mood is really calm and this is my favorite mood of Penny. My favorite mood. Sometimes I come down to work with Penny and she's like, mm, no, not today. And I'm like, okay, I believe you. And then I go back up to the house because I want to have success when I work with her and I don't want to like scare her or scare me or create a bad situation when I don't have to. So I always look and see, and people used to tell me that all the time. Don't take your horse and make them work if they don't want to. And I was like, oh, that's just crazy. That's just such craziness. It's a horse. They're supposed to work when you want to work. Yeah, that was wrong. That was so wrong. I never want to be that girl again. Not ever. But anyways, Penny's in a good mood, so let's get to work. I definitely have my sights on a new saddle for 2022 Penny Pickle. This year, we're gonna get a new saddle because I'm getting older, and this one's not heavy for a Western saddle, but it's still heavy. I want a nice, light, something easy for my girl and me. I also see new boots in my future with Penny this year. I love the color of Gabby's boots. I love them with her outfit, her light shirt, her dark pants, and her light boots. I think it looks adorable on her. I want brown boots. Dusty now. I want brown boots, yeah. You should be wearing them in the don't barn. Don't copy me. I know I, I set trends, but don't copy me. Yeah, well, I'm copy I've had too many people copy me. The pant, the boots I want are not a copycat of those. But I've had too many people copy me. They're cute though. And they say that they don't even like me. And then they get the same exact things as me after I just bought them. I'm like, are you okay? Oh, that's what I needed. Yeah, so if you're wondering if that's what normal life with a teenager is like, yeah, that, that's about it. You never understand them. <laughs> Ever. Show us again. Show us again. You look like a zombie.
pins ears. Oh wait, she's pinning her ears because I'm here. Yeah, she's doing a lot like that. I'm not doing it right. Yeah, we know. How do I do it? From afar, it looks like her tongue's sticking out, but it's not. It's the rope halter. <laughs> like if we zoom out far enough, it looks like her tongue. Go, gate, go. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know All right. How about like Watch your leg. No squeezing at all. Have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are all about the good. To be honest, I'm just trying. Like, she doesn't want to gate. <laughs> she's, just a, she's in the slow family. She thinks she's in the slow family now. So, uh, Sophie's gonna, oh my gosh, I already can't walk. Like, they're screaming at me to squeeze tighter. Can you put it in more? It hurts. It hurts all the way up into my groin. I am tall. I'm no longer average height. She's no longer average height. All right, look, but so that's the problem. My horse is pinning her ears, and I don't like that. I don't want my horse to be unhappy. Protesting. She so was good. protesting. See? And she doesn't have ulcers because we give her stuff every day for her whole like existence for a year that is amazing stuff. All about the good vibes. All about the good vibes. I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Let's have a drink. I might have to try riding her in outside because the footing's not perfect in here and maybe, I don't know, she seems like, I don't know, like, hey, <laughs> why are you holding my horse hostage? I don't know what the problem was there other than me, <laughs> but I don't know, she didn't seem like she wanted to go forward. The farrier comes next week, her feet are uh, looking great. So, I don't know. I don't know, Penny Pickle. All I know is that it is a process and we will get there together. We have all winter, okay? Sophie says that it goes back to me being firm with her and letting her know. And I know how to do that on the ground. I don't know how to do that in the saddle, though. As there's a line I won't cross. Even if they pin their ears at you when you're trying to make them do something? Yeah, it's the pinning. Keep doing it or else the horse will learn, oh, if I pin my ears, she'll get yeah. Yeah. But if she's pinning her ears, how do I know there's not a problem? Like, I know she doesn't have ulcers. I know she, like, we've worked through so many things. I know she's in good shape. Hey, 
and I know she's happy. She has a lot more respect for me now. So, like, I don't know. There's a limit I won't cross. I want my horse to want to be there. She's like, Laura, I'm not a riding horse. I'm a training horse. I'm a fun horse. Okay? Okay? I know for a lot of horses like Penny that are just coming back into work, riding is awkward and difficult because she hasn't attained um, uh, muscle level yet. Like she hasn't attained uh, a workout level yet. She's just beginning. So she's weak and under muscled and not at her best. And that's so difficult and it makes everybody not want to do stuff. Don't you know that?